look at the gold activities around gold, investment bank Goldman Sachs is among several market watchers to forecast a further drop in the price of gold in 2014 after falling 26% in 2013. We view the performance of the traditional safe haven metal this year and discuss how the new gold ETF has performed with Anu Oluakpo Babalola, an analyst at Vetiver Capital. Thank you so much, Anu, for joining us. Thank you for so, um, like I mentioned, it's traditionally a safe haven, but right these days, I think so many factors have, has changed that dynamic for gold. And going into next year, um, one of the points that Goldman Sachs noted is the impact of tapering. They, they are suggesting that the impact of tapering has not been fully priced in. Do you share that sentiment? Um, okay, well, um, I'll go back to your initial statement. Um, I don't think gold safe haven status has been removed. It cannot be removed. Um, I mean, generally, every market is in cycles. Um, prior to this year, we saw a 12-year bull run, and so we've seen a quite significant dip of about 25.7% um, this year. Um, but I, then again, it's in cycles. So, I mean, um, maybe we may see a slight drop, but I don't think as big as um, Goldman Sachs 15% next year. Um, maybe marginal deep of 3%, but with um, enough um, quarterly, intraday, weekly volatility for the investor to play. Um, last year, we saw a 7.4% um, gain. Um, it was a gradual drop. The year before that was about 15%, you know, so generally we've seen it ease out of the bull run. However, um, going into next year and the year after that, um, we may see it begin to pick up again, because currently it's at um, 12 Hundred and about twelve hundred, and and that's that's a floor, basically like it's a um, psychological support. Um, right. Production levels are, are about that, about one thousand one fifty, one thousand two hundred. Even on the technical so basis, it's not likely to. It's not likely to further. drop much further than that. I mean, right. as at twenty ten, it was at one thousand fifty seven, and that was pre QE, basic pre aggressive QE. Let me put it that way, and um, um that, that 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 was then. QE is tapering out. It's not phasing out at once, right. and then from historicals, there have been QEs that have paused and then started again, depending on the economy. Fine, the US economy's unemployment rate has dropped from 7.9 beginning of this year to 7% as we speak, and, and that was quite dramatic. People hadn't really anticipated that, and that's why a lot of analysts are believing that tapering may get on the table before um, late, Q, late, late Q1 2014. Right. But generally, I don't think it'll be a dramatic drop, even if there's going to be a loss. Right. Of course, the reason why this is important to us mm -hmm. in West Africa is because new gold is listed on the market. Mm -hmm. And if we look at the performance of that this year, of course, it has also underperformed the market. But going into next year, um, for investors who are looking to diversify into gold, um, why do you think new gold may make sense for investors? Okay. Well, um, New gold is directly affected by the price of gold and the Naira's performance against the dollar. Um, this year, the Naira has been quite firm. Um, we saw a, a minor depreciation of about 1.26%, and that, that can be directly related to new gold's outperformance of gold. Even though it was still in the negative, yeah. we saw it outperform gold. It didn't drop as, as high as almost 26%. It actually dropped by just 23.6% year to date and so that that's largely because of the fx um, play um as an investor if i had put my money in um if i had some money maybe outside the country in dollars in gold and i had my money in new gold i would have hedged that um about two percent because of the naira's performance so going into next year um the, the, the couple of de developments in um, Nigeria's economy, you know, there's going to be a new CBN governor, there's a couple of um, elections coming up, you know, so there may be some pressure on the Naira. So, I mean, it may be a good time for actually for you to go into New Gold and hedge right, the Naira. Interesting developments there. But let's review this year again and some of the factors that's impacted gold. Um, of course, the, the performance of the dollar has been an issue. Okay. The debacle around the U.S. budget deal was something that also impacted yeah. um, the price going forward and of course it, developments in the Middle East now that has changed a little bit yeah, over the last few months yeah. your thoughts about that in particular and what that could mean for the dynamics of the gold price going forward well generally gold gold prices soar in times of crisis I remember back then in August um, the speculations that US is going to step in gold prices soared you know and, and with every passing day the developments the, the gold was directly reacting to that and um, buying any other news from the US but going into um, 2014 I think dynamics may not really change um, it may not necessarily be Syria that would have issues um, next year some place in Middle East may come up with something normal factors, supply and demand, um, the U.S. Fed, when they start tapering, when they announce tapering, even though I believe that a lot of it has been priced in because right. um, analysts, investors watch out for factors that affect the Fed's decision and then take actions based on that. 
So, I mean, that would also be a factor. The euro area, quite quiet this year. If just um, Cyprus was in the headlines a lot, um, beginning of the year. Going into, into next year, those factors will still play um, a huge um, role in gold prices. Um, also, just to note, um, demand in Asia also plays a, a major role, but it, it sort of took a back seat this year because um, all of the attention was on the Fed, really. Right. Um, but China has sort of upset the um, waning demand in India. Um, and this is largely because, I mean, India's government has pegged a lot of um, exports, um, import, uh, has pegged the import environment for gold, and it made it difficult for um, imports to come in to um, feed the demand right. there. But China has actually really taken over um, the And demand on the supply space. side, the dynamics well, there? How do supply you side, um, because of the almost sure QE next year, just a matter of when, yeah. um, gold prices may drop below 1200 briefly, I mean, initial reaction till it finds its level. Um, that may be a, a, um, a stressful period. Let me, let me put it that way. There may be a, a lot of pressure on the supply side um, because, I mean, production levels are between 1,150 and 1,200, there about. And so when we see gold prices at those levels, production would probably slow down and that that may mean that gold prices may go up afterwards because there's short supply and then there's still demand in the mm. market all right so if we're looking into next year and if i wanted to time it i know it's tough to time the market yes. but if i wanted to time it which factors do you think should be the most uh, critical in terms of looking at how next year will play out for the gold price would it be qe would it be the demand and supply um, dynamics or would it be the middle east first thing on the table um will be qe in my opinion, coming from precedents this year, it was Bernanke, Bernanke this, Bernanke said this, Bernanke said that, you know. So, I mean, even though he's leaving office, people are looking out for who is coming into office, what's the, what are the person's thoughts on the um, FOMC stance in the economy, you know, that, that would be first thing on the table. Second thing on the table would be Middle East, um, oil prices, other commodity prices, the dollar's performance um, in the global um, scene, and um, the other things like supply and demand, and even technicals, because it's at, um, it's very close to a psychological support. Right. So and technicals will also play a good role. And of course, if we look at more local factors, because investors that will be looking into this uh, new commodity will be new yeah, gold. Yeah, Naira, in Nigeria, will it be the elections? Will it be Sanusi leaving, for instance? All things, all things will play together. All of them will play together. Um, for the savvy investor who is probably watching FX daily, you're you're um, wondering, okay. If there's a decision made today, there's an MPC meeting, the decision is made today, how, how would that affect the Naira tomorrow? And how would that affect Interbank? What's happening, what, what, um, what threshold or what um, measure Interbank? Is it um, CBN Interbank or BDC that affects me as an investor? Am I changing my money? You, you know, those are the things you look out for. Um, elections, is there any new development? Who, what, what happened in this person's campaign? Those little things right. may, would affect um, right. your decision. Right. Well, but generally, gold gold is, is what to watch. Right. And, and sticking with new gold, um, can you just comment on the liquidity of the of the ETF in Nigeria? Um, well, generally, as it's not necessarily that novel anymore. It's it's a new product. It's entered into the market. We've actually seen a lot of um, interest in Q4 of this year. We've seen a lot of interest from new investors. I think people are really beginning to sink it in and beginning to key in. Um, a lot of people may understand that this may be a low for gold. Going forward, looking into the medium long term, this is a low for gold. Right. And you know, it's a good time to come in and Is there interest in, in the um, fund management um, uh, industry, particularly the pension fund managers? Are they looking at this product? These are, these are, the, um, these are actually a, a target um, market for the um, ETF, and that's because of portfolio diversification. They have huge portfolios that they cannot just and they allow work to in equity. In that, right? That's what they're working on. Um, the PENCOM rules, the one or two guidelines that they need to follow before they can actually fully invest. Right, but of course, that's in the pipeline. And of course, when they do get into the table, I imagine that the dynamism yeah. in the trade of that that um, product will change yeah, exactly. dramatically. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Thank you